Hey, MCS, Alex here. Cultureware is a social enterprise that sells ethically made products, such as purses and scarves, and then reinvest the profits into sustainable development projects. However, as they are expanding, their information system is not expanding with them. Now, the holiday season is fast approaching, and Cultureware is looking to launch a program that will boost its sales, improve their customer loyalty, and update their database management system. To find a solution that solves all three of these problems is very difficult, but tackling the whole problem all at once is no way it means to an end. In order to find the best course of action for cultureware, the one with the greatest benefit, we need to look at some alternatives and weigh them against each other. As such, we have prepared four alternatives to consider. The first is green IT, but what is green IT? Henry? Another approach considers to maintain our differentiation through relationships and market advantages should be about the green IT. Throughout experiencing MIS, green IT is to support its traditional profits along with ecological and social performance. A good result of that, environmental sustainability is the most emerging issue that attracts the world. Adopting green IT should provide a company with sustainable competitive for the organization. Cultureware gives a stronger sense of identity by implementing green IT over its competitive step zones. By contributing to ecological and environmental building, the company also shows its customers that it cares about green IT, both their customers and those that they support. And by leaving a good impression on customers, it helps to stimulate the benefits of getting more purchases from them. However, there are some potential risk factors. For example, there might be a lack of knowledge of green IT, which would require outsourcing, which in turn raise costs. Another risk would be insufficient support from top management and insufficient experience in workplace monitoring, both of which would incur a considerable amount of cost. In the effect of business screening and green IT, the benefits that business accrue from green IT resources and abilities are specificity, uniqueness, and scarcity. These are what create a system competitive for the one fish. Now, Green IT is a great way for cultureware to gain followers, and it perfectly matches up with the triple bottom line principles that the company is founded on. While this would provide a great revamp for the internal side of the company, it would leave the customers in the same situation that they're already in. This leads us to our second idea. Saeed, can you tell us about the customer loyalty program? There are a multitude of benefits to implementing a customer loyalty program. The main objective of a loyalty program is to maintain existing customers. Now one may ask, what is the difference between acquiring a new customer and selling to existing customers? Well, it costs a business about 5 to 10 times more money to get new customers than selling to current ones. On top of that, existing customers spend 67% more than new customers. Implementing a good loyalty program costs significantly less and will have a greater benefit for the company in the long run. Since repeat customers continue to give, the company must give back. For example, Cultureware would create loyalty accounts with customers that would allow them to accumulate points with purchases and redeem those points for various benefits. However, running programs like this may take time and a lot of planning. Knowing what kind of incentives to offer is very crucial. The reward system has a chance of failing if the customer does not value the reward enough to buy additional products from the company. If the reward system is successful the first time, it will be more difficult to retain the success over multiple attempts. Maintaining the interest over time will be the ultimate test of the reward system. At a glance, the loyalty program sounds like the best solution, as it will encourage sales and improve customer loyalty. But those are only two of the three requirements. Ibrahim will be explaining the third option, promotions. There are a multitude of promotions that CultureWare could use to entice customers to buy a product when they normally wouldn't. Some of the most common would be car tests, early bird prizes, limited edition items, or early access to certain products, and extra ethical contributions. During a set period of time, Cultureware could run a promotion where every purchase would enter them into a contest to win their purchase, in-store credit, or other exclusive prizes. An early bird prize would enable existing customers to get behind the scenes of what the next product would be before it is available to the general public. An ethical promotion could be 
where for every purchase of a product, Cultureware could donate an extra percentage of profits to one of three pre-selected charities of the customer's choice. Since Cultureware is an online-based company, they can interact with customers and host various contests through social media. For instance, they could share a post made by Cultureware for a chance to win a limited edition product. Referrals are also a huge part of any business. They can run an initiative where if customers recommend Cultureware to their peers and if their peers make a purchase, they would both get a coupon code or an in-store credit for a discount on their next purchase. Promotions offer incentives for customers that create a more desirable reason to make a purchase. So who doesn't love a good promotion? Customers get the products they want at the prices that they're willing to pay and Cultureware gets the sales that they're looking for. It's a win-win situation. Not exactly. There's still one more choice that needs to be discussed. Take it away, Alex. Within the past decade, one of the largest adopted platforms has been the mobile app. From the introduction of the App Store, to the touchscreen smartphone, and now the tablet, creating an app that makes use of all of these systems while at home or on the go will greatly enhance Cultureware's business model. Creating an app that is available on both Apple and Android devices is vital since they are the two most used mobile operating systems. In the app, Cultureware can display and sell its products, allow customers to interact, rate, and give feedback about their experiences, and provide a one-stop destination for everything Cultureware. Also, allowing customers to sign in using a social media platform such as Facebook or Twitter will eliminate the need to go through a tedious sign-up process. Additionally, Cultureware will be able to gather information about their customers, such as demographics, purchase frequency, and personal feedback. Having this as a basis for collecting information will still be ethical since the information will be stored in secure servers and the app will not post to their profile page. In 2014, Amazon eBay saw over 60% of their total traffic coming from mobile devices in the holiday season. Taking this into account, Launching an app would provide similar results for Cultureware. Ultimately, it's the convenience that will create the success of the app. Having access to Cultureware at any time will be much more attractive to a customer, especially in the rapidly growing sector of e-commerce. So, having considered the options, let's get a quick summary of what they each bring to the table. For the green IT, pros would be it helps to build competitive advantages, simulate the profits, and shows that we care about the community. Nevertheless, there are some coins, including lack of knowledge of green IT, insufficient support from top management, insufficient workplace monitoring. In conclusion to customer loyalty, the pros are it is cheap to implement, existing customers buy products more than new customers, and it is more expensive to acquire new customers than to sell to existing ones. However, one drawback would be that it is hard to maintain the program. Promotions have a variety of benefits that include making the sale and creating customer interest. However, they will cut the profit margin and over promotion may lead to staling customer interest. The benefits of a mobile app include convenience for the customers and cultureware gathering customer info very easily. However, creating an app can be very costly and integrating a new database management system within it will be very difficult. All things considered, we believe that the mobile app will be the most beneficial for Cultureware. Having something that's both portable and accessible, as well as quick and convenient, that is what customers want. And the added security of signing in through a social media platform will guarantee to the customers that they are getting the best of Cultureware. In the Journal of Computers and Human Behavior, Marketing professor Shintaro Okazaki demonstrates the convenience that an app has in the world of mobile commerce. He explains this using four criteria. The first is intrinsic attributes of a mobile device. The second, ease of use. The third, extrinsic attributes of a mobile device. And fourth, the convenience of mobile commerce. When linked together, the benefits become clear. The portability and design of the app create the usability. This influences the speed, searchability, and simultaneity of the app, all of which create the convenient platform of the mobile app. Cultureware is about to embark on the next chapter in the history of their success. They've gone from vendor stand to the catalogs to the web, and now they're moving on to the platform of the present, the 
mobile app. Mobile commerce is the future of business now. Adapting to the ever-changing business environment will benefit both the company and the consumers. This is our suggestion. So browse the selection of products while you're at home. Buy something while you're out and about. Enjoy the convenience of having culture wear wherever you go. And as always, thanks for watching.